scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. In all you're getting, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. Join, Join Apostle, Apostle Joshua Selman, Selman of Eternity Network, Network International, International as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of God's Word. It's intimacy. It's partnership. It's fellowship. This is Koinonia. lift our hands and bless his name. Jesus, we thank you for tonight. It's an honor to be here. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I just want us to pray two prayer points very quickly hallelujah yesterday the Lord showed me a vision that necessitates us praying before we continue hallelujah I saw a mighty manifestation of the spirit of infirmity I saw like someone blowing something and then it just went around and I saw people falling sick mysteriously mysteriously falling sick and when the Lord shows a thing like this it is because there is authority to rebuke it are we together whether you feel healthy or not is not the issue I like us to agree hold your hands together we are going to pray we we'll command and declare that our borders are sanctified in the spirit lift your voice and begin to pray Libra Cato Sada Brande de Calocarish Capron de Zagate Bracato Shipia. We command the spirit of infirmity to give way in the name of Jesus. Cato Jada Baracoto Soto Baladabala and the Catacata Barato Sada Baria Cato Jebrediska. We bind you, we cast you. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ that the spirit of infirmity is rebuked over the body of Christ, over this territory. Zegatekete Shabalaros Embrakato Koto Brakata Baratush
pray Praise the Lord Hallelujah The Bible tells us in the book of Jude How that when Archangel Michael was carrying the body of Moses To heaven Satan stood there and there was a contention he was interested in the body of moses because you see no spirit can operate on earth until there is a body that cooperates with it it's not about sickness it's not about infirmity it's a search for bodies it's a search for vessels when jesus was about to rebuke the spirit in the man in gadara all the spirits they said look the only reason why we can function in this territory is because there is a body now at least help us minimize the punishment as you banish us from this body don't banish us from the territory why so that paradventure if that man becomes available we can return i'd like you to pray i sanctify my body i decree and declare it cannot be an instrument of sickness it cannot be an instrument of infirmity lift your voice and pray i speak to my blood I speak to my blood I speak to my bones I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my mortal body. I cause sickness. I cause the eaters of flesh and the drinkers of blood. I cause the drainers of life. My body is sanctified. Mato sekete rekata. Pray. I cause spells, I cause enchantments and divinations. Their projections will not find expression in my body. I declare that I am immune, sanctified, immune above divination above necromancy above projections no manipulations with the stars will project sickness to my body pray i challenge sickness i call you by your name and i banish you from my body i call you by your name and i banish you from my family I call you by your name and I banish you from my environment. Pray, make sure you are praying. Shabratika to zebres. Lakata praskato pasia. You have a little child, lay your hands on them. I sanctify you. Sato Soto Bekea. No sickness, no infirmity, no untimely death. In the name of Jesus, my body is a temple. Shekatos Koto Prakata. Embretas Kalabatos. Divinity resides in my body. Matata Soto Brendekete Lakataya. hallelujah hallelujah one last prayer point that whosoever digs a pit must fall into it i like you to declare open your mouth and cause the human entities that partner with spirits to project evil over the lives the bodies of men don't keep quiet open your mouth we close the heavens over them we frustrate their counsels in the name of the lord jesus
Abra teke teke reto so superia katash. The church of the Lord Jesus is alive. We are not weak. We are not beggarly. There is an anointing upon us. We represent heaven in this territory. Therefore, we decree. We decree. We define borders. We define spiritual borders for the activity of evil. Thus far have you come, no further shall you go. We pass a decree. We legislate in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before you sit down, let me teach you something. You see, we're teaching on the dominion mandate. We'll get there shortly. But every time you watch evil loom around your life and you keep quiet and keep silent and hope it will change, you have made the biggest mistake. Are we together? Evil never, never lives by itself. Are we together? Don't wait until it happens too late. From the onset, attack it immediately. Attack it immediately. Are we together? Your phone is missing. Tomorrow your laptop is missing. Next tomorrow your shoe. Don't wait. Already you know. You are, you are sensitive. Close your door. Blast in tongues for 15 minutes. Let me tell you something with Satan. Satan experiments. He pushes something and then sees your depth of spiritual sensitivity. When you are carnally minded, you will look for foolish explanations and then he will suspend it for a while so that you don't pray. He attacks an issue. When it's about to get too much, he knows you will pray so he will relax. You will remain in that condition then he brings another one. Before you know it, you have been eaten over by darkness. Whether it is in the middle of a night, you turn and it looks like you felt something on your face. Listen, listen, let me tell you. I won't tell you to do something I'm not doing. Go and ask the devil. You wake up and there is a wicked dream, an evil dream. You went to sleep after prayer. You are in a period of fasting. Then he mocks you. You lie down to sleep and you see someone comes to sleep with you or one kind of nonsense then you just stretch and say no problem no no light or no light worship or no worship charge yourself call the spirit by name listen let me tell you when men sleep things happen in this realm i have told you you lie down to sleep and men make incantations attempting to project your spirit to realms so that they plant things and you return back you wake up with things you did not sleep with are we together we'll pray again one more prayer just one more prayer i'd like you to pray and say enough is enough whether you know the name of what is happening to you or not blast in tongues the word has come it's my season of triumph shake it take it out mysterious disappearances of items mysterious coincidences of bad luck mato soto brigatai pray online pray outside legete kete 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 rakoto so prekete ha ma pratos ki abado shabande keriadashi I sanctify my borders. I cross the gates of Leviathan. I cross you in the name of Jesus. I lift up the standard of the blood. I invoke the blood. I invoke the blood. I command the elements of creation to stop cooperating with any human agent that uses the elements of the supernatural to project evil to men we curse you we curse you we curse you by the god of heaven
Hallelujah. The Bible says, resist the devil. It didn't say discourse. It didn't say hope. It didn't say wish. James 5 13 says, Is anyone among you afflicted? Let him pray. That's it. That's the requirement. Is anyone afflicted? Affliction is not just sickness. When things are not happening, as the word of God said should be, let him pray. Let him pray. All I need is you, Lord. Is you, Lord. All I need is you. All I need is you, Lord, is you, Lord, all I need is you. That's why we're here tonight. For all I need is you, Lord, is you, Lord, all I need is you. Say, na na ma sa na 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 all I need is you, Lord, is you, Lord, all I need is you. One more time. All I need is you, Lord, is you, Lord, all I need is you. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we acknowledge you tonight. We're gathered here tonight, connecting from across several cities and nations. Lord, tonight we have come to learn, we have come to receive of the Spirit. We have come to learn from the fountain of wisdom. Therefore, we pray that the hallowed bread be broken tonight. Grant us illumination and understanding. Grant us impartation capacity to rise to deeper and higher dimensions in the spirit we receive this because we ask and we declare that we will give you the glory in the name of jesus amen god bless you please greet someone and be seated there's a lot to do tonight jesus we bless you hallelujah for as long as we are alive, we will continue to lift up the name of Jesus. We will continue to see that his glory is revealed. One of the things that the advantages of appearing before God every time is that fear dies in your life fear is a very wicked spirit it's a dangerous spirit fear has the ability to magnify anything negative are we together when we come before the presence of god the things that brought fear to you when you come and watch other men that god has helped squash them into pieces and trivialize them then you go back full of faith because satan loves it when he surrounds you with fear and makes it look as if ah this is over this issue in your life and family there is no hope for it these are the kinds of platforms where we call the devil a liar and we don't just say it by calling him we we prove the excellency of the victory and authority of the spirit hallelujah praise the lord we're discussing the dominion mandate this is part two and um what a joy i consider this topic very 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 instrumental to our understanding and our growth as you know the church of the lord jesus christ has a ministry and one of it is not just to be the light of the earth but to equip believers our assignment as ministers of the gospel is to prepare believers to open them up to all the dimensions and the possibilities that are required 
to be effective in representing Christ. Are we together? And so we piece together all the dimensions that will be required to grant you access to reign. And this for me is one of the, the cardinal teachings of the Christian faith, the dominion mandate, because this encapsulates the will of God right from before the fall of man and he still represents his desire for us today um we discussed a few things last week we last week was basically an introduction to what i call the original plan it is important for every believer to know and to understand the original plan the average believer has no idea um as to why we are here what necessitated our being here why the evils um, when you understand the dominion mandate all of a sudden there will be a synergy the happenings around you why the devil seeks to destroy men why the holy spirit was given to us why we must be effective without revelation our commitment will be false and they would not be able to last are we together now so we looked at the original plan and is found in genesis chapter 1 let's look at 26 the bible tells us how that when god was going to make man the prime of his creation genesis 1 and verse 26 and god said let us make man in our own image we discussed two things i said how that number one adam was not the first man created no adam was the first man who introduced our dispensation that is true but Adam is not the first human species created. The first created in the image and the likeness of God. Are we together? The Bible is full of several instances of beings and events that happened that predated Adam himself. The mere description of the word subdue as part of the, the instructions given to Adam suggests that there is an enemy, an enemy looming somewhere. Hallelujah. And I did tell us that um, it's important for us to understand that the ultimate, please listen, the ultimate for the believer is not just heaven. Now I know that um, evangelically we teach that everything is heaven and we're not necessarily wrong in that sense. But the whole idea is not just heaven. God's idea is not just to save sinners something happened there was once upon a time where the man god created was not a sinner are we together but there was an instruction given so adam was not on earth just because of sin he was on earth doing something sin came and met him interrupted the plan so i, I gave us an analogy last week how many of us remember how that there was an original plan are we together and that plan is contained in the word dominion a system of legislature and governance in one word dominion is governance an exercise of sovereign control now the the nature of man's dominion must be um it man was not given absolute dominion man was given delegated dominion there is a difference are we together now the an adumbration of man's dominion was revealed by joseph in egypt are we together when joseph was exalted he said you know i have been made a prime minister the prince every other thing was under his control it was only in the issue of ranking that pharaoh who was a representation of the type of the father jesus being joseph being the type of jesus and the egyptian woman he married was the type of the church are we together now so all of those are prophetic events that reveal several things and um, we see how that god gave man authority the bible says the heaven even the heaven of the heavens has is the lord's but it says the earth has he given that's a very important thing the earth has he given to the sons of men when man was being given that access to dominion satan had it are we together satan was somewhere around the earth and he had everything clear and from that time he began to seek for a way to negotiate with man and the only way he could get man to fall was to do get man to do what he did 
treason rebellion are we together he came through eve and then lured adam and i have taught us again in this place how that adam fell willingly everybody say it adam was not deceived the person who was deceived was eve eve was deceived adam fell because of love he didn't fall because of ignorance are we together and that remains true today there are few men who fall because of ignorance it's easy to deceive ladies it's very difficult to deceive men they fall because of love the second adam also fell because of love jesus was not deceived the father didn't say just come and look at earth and then just close heaven and say i meant to say you should come and die no it was a well calculated thing his wife that eve had now fallen there was a separation so the second adam there were many things that parallel jesus and adam he's not just called second adam just because of the nature of sin no are we together now he's called the second adam because he did what adam did and so he looked at his bride and he stripped himself away of his glory and he came to join that bride like adam fell from the glory of god are we together now so redemption is a restoration process redemption was not an initial agenda redemption was a restoration process of course in the infinite wisdom of god a program already had been created like that but experientially speaking right in the garden there was no discussion about apostles and prophets and teachers and koinonia and churches and meetings and all of those no 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 it was about government it was about governance it was about legislature it was about replicating the fullness of the life the glory the character the nature the influence of heaven to be able to find expression across all that territory i hope you know that not every part of earth was like the garden of eden the garden of eden was a type of god's intention because as i'm going to be teaching you it is how god advances so he creates a prototype of his intention plants a man there and gives that man capacity to extend that influence so adam's assignment among other things was to be able to piece together the resources that made eden eden and start extending eden and there were two major ways he would do that one by creativity the other by reproduction take note we are going to deal with this we are discussing very deep kingdom issues now reproduction creativity all other dispensations did not know that there was a possibility of reproduction by a man meeting with a woman producing seed it was always creation not reproduction it was our dispensation that introduced another dimension the only way things were extended in dispensations before us was creativity so if you wanted something it was purely a product of invention but now god revealed a dimension of himself you see marriage has nothing to do with a man and a woman marriage is a dimension in god he only brought the woman out of a man so that they will be actors on earth the primary purpose of marriage is not just children the primary purpose of marriage is to reveal something about god then children come as an advantage so when you lose the prophetic implication of marriage the physical activities are just a waste that's why satan likes gay marriage it's not about a man and a man a woman and a woman it's about corrupting a program are we together now yes so when a man likes a man or a woman likes a woman it's not just inordinate desires that's that's not the issue the is is that men are actors on earth and satan is rewriting another script to describe something bad about god because he dwells in light there is no darkness so he brings a man and a woman these are the only actors who can best describe that mystery called marriage so satan is switching scenes and bringing a man and a man and a woman and a woman the realm of the spirit understand the message that is being sent are we together reproduction reproduction i'll be teaching you different dimensions of dominion later on and you find out that 
authority exercising authority is just one out of the many ways are we together yes there are many facets authority exercising authority is one of them by speaking passing decrees number two the ministry of prayer especially intercession is another system of dominion number three reproduction you are not manifesting dominion if there is no reproduction hallelujah so the fall of man was a veering off of the original plan for many of us the foundation of our christian journey just starts with the cross or the coming of jesus it looks very spiritual but it's wrong the foundation must start right from the beginning are we together i taught you something in theology that we call the law of first use or the law of first mention that means that when you want to examine the character of a word or the the usage of a context you have to search for where it was first mentioned study the context of his usage and that's what you use as a compass are we together now so if you want to know the purpose of man we must go back to the book of beginnings genesis are we together now and then see what god said about that man you don't search around for scriptures on prosperity and wealth and then find out where man just appeared in the scene you must go down from the beginning and god said when man appeared he never had any sound on earth the first sound his ears will hear was the speaking of his creator be fruitful multiply etc etc and all of that so it's important that we look at that and study it very importantly the fall of man led to the necessity of redemption jesus himself coming the entire program of redemption was a restoration program not a restoration to heaven not a restoration to heaven please listen carefully not a restoration to heaven a restoration back to god's original agenda even heaven itself as we know is a subset of that agenda revelation tells us clearly I told you the Bible finishes with the beginning of a new dispensation. Am I against heaven? No. Am I against the reality of the fact that saints will be caught up to the heavens? No, not at all. The Bible acknowledges that. But then it does not stop at us being in heaven. We are returning back again. Right? To the earth. So it is important that we understand um, God's system. This series has three main areas we're dealing with the second today the first is what i call the original plan helping you giving you an exegesis of the beginning to understand that god's original idea was not just for us to have cars and houses go to school get married have children train them the way an average believer and well-meaning believer the way an average believer is trained is not makes him or her not to be productive let me tell you something it matters how you are trained and it matters who trains you are we together let me repeat myself it matters how you are trained and it matters who trains you the person who introduced jesus to you did something to you very serious it was more than a message the person who has introduced the faith life and the spirit life to you may have communicated his or her limitations it matters what you are told about satan it matters what you are told about demons it matters what you are told about the holy spirit are we together it matters what you are told about purpose and destiny it matters it's not enough to just have information it is important to study the communicators of those informations because this is where error and limitation came from so we have sincere people who are well-meaning but they have not paid the price to take advantage of the ministry of the holy spirit and the word to study comprehensively the program of god unfortunately our bible colleges our schools of ministry do not do so much justice in opening people to god's blueprint so the entire scope of the average believers 
understanding of what we call our pilgrimage the journey is this i am born one day i receive an evangelical message and then i'm told to give my soul to someone i cannot see and then i hand over that soul to him and then in in return i hear that he gives me a life whatever that is i just know i have it and then i'm also told that my name is in the book of life meaning i've escaped hell hallelujah glory to god what else do i do i'm encouraged to be a worker in church then i'm 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 encouraged to get a wife or a husband that is like me then two of us are encouraged to make sure we have children are we together then we are encouraged to make sure we train those children as a sign of responsibility then we are told to just live our lives giving glory to god regardless of what happens and then we are told to prepare for death that is that is that is another writer script that is not god the word of god that liveth and abideth forever is very clear as to god's intention so most believers are largely confused you were in secondary school and they told you just keep moving university just finish up you came from the world into the university from university they say now that you are going into the world and you know all kinds of sympathy happens and then you now enter into the world and people say get a job and you get a job and then get a wife or get a husband have children and then try to have cars depending on your level of carnality if you want to if you, you are broke and nothing happens just manage it and all sorts of 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 teachings that look like they are nice then one day you find out that you are sick you don't know why you are sick and then you go to a man of god who says you are healed and you don't even know why you were healed why is god interested in healing men why is satan interested in afflicting people then you find out that a dear lady gets married listen i'm giving your work your faith work meaning and then the lady is barren and she goes to the doctor doctor i've been a nice lady i didn't live a wayward life what is happening and the doctor says that's what i'm trying to figure out i was trained to study just give me time and the doctor is confused cannot find out what is wrong and the innocent lady lives in pain and her whole ambition is oh god give me a child or give me children think how confused we are on earth everybody is trying to suggest to someone how they feel their lives can be better so someone says look if you don't have money your life will be bad and then the other person says so this is what you know i've been looking at okay let me try to get the money then you become a millionaire and you are happy and you find out that that realm has another trouble you cannot even explain are we together and this is how we live we receive advices from confused people who confuse others we mentor our children they grow in that confusion and the earth is just a cycle of failure it is important that among the the curriculum that we are given we must be able to give meaning to our lives that's why people commit suicide why not just because they are frustrated their frustration only amplified the meaninglessness of living that's why people do all kinds of stupid things with their lives abuse the word abuse means abnormal use you will misuse everything god gave you if you do not know why it was given are we together yes when you carry 10 bottles of alcohol with the writings written boldly that it destroys you you are not pouring it on the ground you are transferring it into your body it's called abuse an abnormal use why because you do not know that that body was a loan like you collect a loan from a bank if you collect a loan from a bank and you misuse it you are already signing in for disaster so we abuse our bodies when god gives you a wife and you don't know why a wife came they ask you why are you married you say well i just found out that i was age was not on my side and they said i should find somebody it so happens that this is the scapegoat who i now call and you abuse that innocent woman are we together or vice versa there are women who abuse men you now find out that god gave you a calm person who says sorry for everything and now he happens to be the victim of your emotional confusion your the the the, the confusion that surrounds your trying to define your life and you vent it on your spouse and where both of you are bold enough to confront one another the children become the victims it is still an extension of confusion when people celebrate golden jubilee they celebrate it angry wondering what they've been doing for 50 years oftentimes most of them are not healthy they can't hear well they can't see well 
they made costly mistakes in their youthful days that they are paying the price now they didn't have access to the mysteries of the kingdom they've destroyed their lives they are poor they are broke their lives are meaningless it's alarming the rate of suicide right now it used to be in the west you know the developed nations and now even in africa you get up you don't find your child you just see a letter farewell and you see someone on a tree now if we don't do something about this let me tell you right now counseling is big business psychology psychologists are getting a lot of um, um business now because there, there are all kinds of trauma centers not just from plane crash so a human being can be alive and just enter a trauma center and say look i need help why i don't know what i'm doing i'm seeing things i'm hearing voices my life is confused we need to return back to god's blueprint otherwise we are going to live absolutely useless lives when you understand the dominion mandate then marriage becomes useful children become useful prosperity becomes useful education becomes useful are we together when you understand the dominion mandate it will make sense to you every requirement the bible gives so we cut away from god's original agenda and then we keep telling people don't use don't live a useless life live a life of meaning and the person saying what is a life of meaning get a job get a job and the person goes, okay he gets a job and fights all over his office till he retires aren't you seeing the way our lives are it's a circle think very carefully when you were 10 years 12 years just deal with your little friend or your little brother or sister about the confusion in life now look at you, you are getting to 40 you have joined that vicious circle of confusion even as preachers so many preachers do not know why god gave them a church god just called me and said raise me a people a people of power a people of holiness a people of grace a people of prosperity and we put that that team on our churches our members come and they don't exactly understand what we're saying someone gives a testimony oh god gave me a breakthrough we clap but to what end god made me a minister god increased the dimension of his grace then pastors chase after anointing and you ask them why and they say my church is not growing my life i can't i can't live like this no bread on my table i need to access power i need value so they access the anointing like escapism from poverty then when they become a little anointed they are now happy doors of ministry are opening and then honorariums are coming and all of that and then with that that's how people live i want you to refuse to live a meaningless life are we together you must insist somebody now is about to get married tomorrow in this confusion he's confused he's holding the hands of another confused person and then they are starting something they don't even know where he's going will they dance yes will they eat yes will they be happy eventually no no this is not about demons god's original agenda is the key to joy and happiness not money not education ask those who have these things rich people hang themselves and drop their money and will it to a cat why because i have five useless boys in my house give this cat my inheritance our world is gradually demonstrating that disobedience to god is costly so we must return back to see you high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy 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 open the eyes of my heart lord open the eyes of my heart i want to see you i want to see There are many of us today our parents are angry with us why 
because they want you to follow the path they followed and the word of god is already telling you that ah they like the way their lives are and they they do not believe that something they are doing is why their life is like that they tell you just follow don't please don't embarrass us just let it be like that oh i want to get married to who yeah, the brother he's starting off mm, don't do that you see if you do this we are going to beg are you not seeing the way our lives are and then people control people and we are victims of men's thinking there's a lot of gap let me tell you something you need to re-examine the concept of age this thing called age the most excellent part of age is the wisdom attached to it if age fails to come with wisdom it is useless did you hear what i said yes that a man i'm not you know we have i have i have so much respect for elderly people you're elderly here i honor you with all my heart but i'm teach. we need to redefine our philosophy of i am old and i am young because there are many old people that are responsible for the pain of people on earth age gives you access it should give you wisdom only age does not just add wisdom on its own at best it can give you sophia human knowledge the fact that you made a mistake does not mean you have found the answer so you can tell us in 1961 i made a mistake did you find the answer you may still be in that ignorant at that point you are just familiar with the problem not the solution how many old people mentor young people you are about to marry and oh no problem i remember i married in 1941 that asked that man's wife whether she enjoyed marriage see her an old woman she would tell you i only enjoyed marriage for three weeks in 40 years that's the person mentoring two people and he said listen to me no i won't listen to you no sir i will respect you but i reject that kind of life you will not define that template for me Do you know why God is called the ancient of days? You know why? The, he is called the ancient of days because of one word, wisdom. Take away wisdom because Satan too is an ancient of days. He's old. The Bible tells us Satan is old. What is the difference between him? At least they are old enough. I think any man that is older than 6,000 years is old satan is not six thousand years old before six thousand years he was already called that old serpent yet he's as foolish and stupid as whatever because it is only a fool that says in his heart there is no god and the bible says even the demons they 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 try to ignore it so they deceive men into believing there is no god get your life into your hands and trust god to use the word of god as a compass and redefine your life because there are many of you looking at me right now we are doing what we call jack of all trades master of none this is how they taught me to live oh this is how i will live i have my little job with nmpc another person has a job with one uh, one para paramilitary and then we are on our way going we don't know the purpose of children so we abuse them people give birth anyhow and make the children liabilities to men and society you just come and somebody passes a child to you and say take care of my child i see i see the person was part of the arrival of the child why because the people doing that do not know the revelation behind abba abba father if before you source a thing you must be ready to sustain it this is what should govern getting pregnant not time do we have the resources the wisdom the grace the capacity for a child if a poor man gives birth to seven children he's a foolish man correct not just because he wants to demonstrate that he can give birth he is abba source you must sustain so you leave those children and they become armed robbers remember i told you satan is looking for bodies and because those bodies cannot be handed over to god satan will find available bodies and they plague our society today kill people rape women and children maim people destroy the peace of society we have violated the dominion mandate and this is why this teaching is very necessary are we together 
Revelation chapter 5 and verse 10. The original plan was what I discussed. I spoke to us extensively about the fall of man. And I spoke to us about how that redemption was a remedy system. Now that you are born again, you must be able to have a redirection back to God's original agenda. And I said a few things to us. I said how that there are certain conditions that are required. Number one is your natural birth. For you to be able to stand and execute the dominion mandate. One is your natural birth. You must be birth, born of a woman. Because when Jesus came, he came to redeem all those who were descendants of Adam. Listen, let me teach you something. Everybody look up. Hmm. The blood of Jesus is only applicable for descendants from Adam. If you were not part of that dispensation, the work of grace and the cross is not relevant to you. Otherwise, Satan and demons should also be forgiven. Because a statement was made on the cross, it is finished. What is the it? Everything that had grieved the heart of the Father, the legal claims of justice had been appeased. The Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul, Isaiah saw, and he shall be satisfied. So if he says it is finished, that means the demons that neglected their original estates that are now in everlasting chains, alongside Satan, I've told you, Satan is not the most wicked of the spirit. No, he's not. The belief that Satan is the most wicked of all the spirits, the king of all the spirits, is, is not necessarily error. It's just a limiting knowledge. Because Satan is not bound in everlasting chains. There are spirits more wicked than him that are bound in everlasting chains. The Bible says that they were bound even for the sake of the elect. Are we together? I pray that God will give us wisdom. You see how peaceful your life will be? This is what Satan does not want us to know. Man of God, listen. This is what Satan does not want your congregation to know. Because if you don't know this story, you won't see the necessity of your victory and you will not know that you have been restored to now begin to walk in dominion. And demons will play games with your life. They will play games with your destiny. You will live your life under the mercy of situations and circumstances. so your natural birth then your spiritual birth or what i call a rebirth the bible calls it a regening regeneration regime every possessor of adam's genes born of a woman is born in iniquity are we together now born in iniquity means that legally you are under the influence of satan the prince of the power of the air as wrong as well as the elements in this system and you cannot carry out the dominion mandate with the genes of adam so there is a regening a regeneration are we together now when jesus christ comes into your heart a real miracle happens there the bible tells us there is a translation the bible says he that is joined to christ is what help me one spirit one spirit not two spirits one spirit so christ comes to live in you he creates his throne in your heart tabernacles in you in the person of the holy spirit now watch this the moment that happens you are now ready not to dominate you are not ready to dominate you are ready to now begin the process that restores you back to god's original agenda the dominion mandate now this is where many believers miss it and pastors ah, pastors if you do not understand the difference between prophecy and experience you will mislead people the speakings of the bible are twofold the prophetic communications of god are we together now and the experience of that communication when god speaks from his perspective it is done because God has no past, no present, no future. He's called Alpha Omega. Time is not something that God is limited by. 
he's not even limited by eternity eternity is still a subset of him if he dwells in eternity then somebody created it correct are you getting blessed tonight and so you must understand that this god that we are talking about is not limited you must understand his systems and how he works when god speaks he can say sam when you enter that house and by the time your fifth child comes you see that and sam can say i'm not even married that's the speaking of god god will never say when you marry uh -uh. he talks to men as if he's talking to himself this is how, this is why many people do not know god can look at you and say promise take care of these 30 children whereas he doesn't have a job that's god because in his word is also the grace to convert that prophecy to experience so he will not speak to you like he's speaking to a man let me tell you one way to know that a word came from god is that there will be no resources at that point to make it come to pass whether spiritually financially etc if god speaks to you and you have the resource to do it you had your brain or a demon noah build me an ark two stadium two stadium of i mean the ark of noah was stadiums two like that are made of gopher wood how many years plantation agriculturist will give you that noah spent 120 years building that how many years 120 years but the way God spoke it, it was as if rain will come next week. This is a mistake many people make. God can say, I have sent you today. This is how God speaks. Because your whole lifetime is still his today. So God says, today, I have anointed you as a prophet to the nations. Then you get up with lack of understanding the systems of God. And now ordain yourself and try to get visa to Ghana or smuggle your way to UK. And you die somewhere in the forest. And it there will be is it a lie no god spoke to you but you did not understand the difference between prophecy and experience it was paul who was teaching the church in hebrew and began to teach them in chapter 2 and told them he says now god did not leave anything under the feet of man are we together now he was trying to quote um, the the psalm of david right what is man that thou art mindful of and then he says but now that's experience in God's eye and in God's mind, nobody should be sick. In God's eye and in God's mind, there should not be one sinner on earth. Because right from the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain. Go to the prison. Is there a thief there? Please answer me. Is there a thief that went into the prison today? Yes. So does that mean that the efficacy of the word is not working? No, it is. He already said it is finished. And there are still criminals it is finished there are still barren people god will look at someone on a wheelchair and still say it is finished yet he's still there the day that the anointing and the faith of that person comes he enters into the experience of that word that's why god is resting but he says there remaineth a rest not for god for his people what is that rest the experience of his finished work so we keep moving around with ignorance and making a fool out of ourselves and demons are happy and hope we continue like that and then at the end of it the equation does not add up and then we are frustrated and humiliated is god helping us tonight tonight we are going to look at the second aspect and that is discipleship the dominion mandate has three segments number one is a revelation of the original plan the fall of man and the restoration through jesus that's the first the second is discipleship what is discipleship a system of training for reigning a system of reprogramming a system of recalibration into the image and the likeness and then next week we are going to look at the third segment governance so these three segments number one the original plan 
the fall of man and the restoration process that we call redemption the second is discipleship discipleship is not some some doctrinal curriculum of people no it is the way people are trained to carry out the dominion mandate listen nobody reigns just because you have received jesus remember the scripture that i gave you last week right that they that received two things number one the gift of righteousness number two the abundance of grace so two requirements to reign one you must receive what the gift of righteousness no man can walk it is god's very nature imputed through faith when you believed in the finished work of his son his death the burial the resurrection and the glorification not just the resurrection jesus did not just ascend and is hanging in the sky he is seated it matters because Ephesians starts with the revelation of his seated position so it's not just the death i know great men like kenyon and all of that talk about the death burial resurrection but it's more than that the death the burial the resurrection and the glorification that coronation was what david saw the lord said to my lord the lord the ancient of days said to my lord the christ sit down at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool hallelujah discipleship why why discipleship let me tell you something because you see when you receive jesus christ everybody listen carefully when you receive jesus christ automatically it gives you access the life of god is in you give us genesis chapter 1 please verse 26 god created man there was a twofold design and this design this configuration must be gotten back for man to be able to walk in dominion number one is what his image the first purpose of discipleship is to carve in you the experience of the image of the christ the spiritual dimension the spiritual composition are we together now paul said this he says my little children in whom i travail until christ be formed in you the formation of christ in reality the indwelling of the word is a reflection of his image because the bible says let us make man in our own image and the bible says christ who is the word is the express image of the godhead he that has seen me has seen the father are we together now philip said show us the father and then it's sufficient he said philip have you been so long with me philip and yet you have not seen the father whoever has seen me has seen the father so christ came as the image so man must first be made in christ now listen let us make process let us make process the moment that life of god comes the making is not automatic the life is there the spirit of god is at work in you if it were automatic then you do not need the word and you do not need the, the ministry of the holy spirit the formation of christ now please everybody listen this is one of the indices for spiritual growth the moment believers get born again if you have ever wondered what next let me tell you what next is the spiritual development of those people so that the life the character and the traits of christ will be fashioned in them are we together now the image so pastors apostles prophets evangelists together that five-fold ministry they work harmoniously to help people achieve this are we together the image of christ being formed in you that's what you call character that's what you call the fruit of the spirit the fruit of the recreated human spirit when you read galatians chapter 5 verse 16 paul was teaching the galatian church and he said this i say then please give it to us galatians 5 and verse 16 we'll read 16 then we'll go down to 22 he says this i say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh so the key is what walking in the spirit you must be trained to walk in the spirit 
the bible says to set your minds on the things above and not on the things of the earth it takes a training the name of that training is discipleship discipleship is not just an indoctrination into a church's curriculum and beliefs are we together because many of us hate the word and i understand because it has been used religiously by people who are not even born again discipleship is how people are made to reign verse 22 he says but the fruit of the spirit there are all kinds of theological understandings but the fruit of the spirit is love listen joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance he said against such there is no law meaning that it is impossible to be a violator with these conditions this is the atmosphere of the spirit the fruit of the spirit combined creates an atmosphere that becomes formidable no power and force of hell can penetrate that all these things you call the fruit of the spirit are and they are ingredients that structure something the bible says that we are built into a spiritual house like living stones one block upon the other you are adding love joy peace patience gentleness let me tell you every attack on a believer's life comes when there is a lapse in one of these are you hearing what i'm saying listen are, are we learning am i am i blessing you every attack on your life will come based on an advantage that was taken as a result of the absence or the deficiency of this from where comet um how does the bible put it quarreling and all this among you you see that when there is no love there will be jealousy when there is no love there will be bitterness when there is no joy the bible says for with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation is that true it says the joy of the lord is your strength when your spirit is weak there is no joy joy is not laughter joy can only be given by the spirit unbelievers have happiness only believers can have joy is of the holy ghost joy has nothing to do with circumstances it is a state of being that is based on a revelation and the presence of the holy ghost count it all joy my brethren when you go through die how can you rejoice knowing this knowing this this is the secret of the joy knowing this without knowing it you cannot have joy so when you are going through diverse situations you lost a loved one you lost a job something is not working well ordinarily you should be sad but knowing this there is a revelation that the trying of your faith work at patience and then that let patience have her full course then it will make you mature it will make you unfruitful knowing this hallelujah are we blessed we must build the fruit of the spirit in people you can be educated as educated as anything and lack gentleness goodness meekness and never be promoted correct you went to school but you are not gentle at all the company throws you away because you lack the fruit of the spirit do you know all the the commandments of nigeria are a human attempt to get men to have the fruit of the spirit so when they tell you pay a bill of hundred thousand naira and all of this is their own way of trying to force you to feel the pain of stealing somebody's thing it is their way of trying to give you love when they jail you because of impatience they are trying to get you to be what to have long suffering because you are not patient that's why you wanted one million in one day and you jump somebody's fence or you stopped a luxurious bus let me tell you the chaos in our society is because there is the absence of the image the charisma, the image of christ every law when you whip your child it is because he violated something that is here when a husband beats a wife something is missing peace sister when a brother comes to say i want to marry i want to marry you do you know why you don't say yes immediately 
you go back and start cross checking you don't even know this is what you are cross checking does this guy love me it's not just love god alone does he have joy this brother is an angry brother peace i watched what he did to somebody one day long suffering this guy looks like a hustler he puts his hand in everything is he gentle no the way he approached me was bad is he good no he's greedy does he have faith he come you know and all of that and when you calculate all those things the other side of the equation creates your response and you go back and say no now you may not know that this is what you were checking when someone is advising you he's helping you society can never go into decadence when the image of christ is enforced the image of christ is the unifier whether you are from kogi state plateau state listen to me whether you are yoruba or Igbo, all those disparity in culture that is as a result of bad habits can be neutralized if the image of christ is formed in believers so when you see someone who is hausa and someone who is um Igbo or someone who is yoruba or someone who is from the south south four of them you will not see any noticeable differences why because they have allowed the genes of adam that was a part of the course that came through their earth and programmed something oh the men from this place are stupid the men from this place are irresponsible when you allow the character are we learning the dominion mandate it says man was made in the image it was not possible for adam to hate it was not possible for him to be impatient how did man fall because there was a pastor that said something satan became that preacher that's why when god came he said who told you not who showed you a voice reprogrammed you so how will men return back to this a voice will reprogram men the spirit of god is in his words as you are hearing this something is happening to you you are now seeing that this is not the issue of marry from here or from here this is not the issue of i am from bielsa i am from south south in our place this is how we do it all those our place when you talk like that let me show you whose descendant you are on earth there are two families one those who are connected to adam and everything adam came with two those who have been regimed 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 into another family so you cannot look at me and say you come from so so place your people are drunkards i don't know who they are i've been called out of every tribe genesis please give us revelations 5 verse 9 i want you to read it god has to deliver us verse 9 1 2 no gen um revelations 5 media 5 verse 9 revelations revelations let's read it one okay verse 9 5 verse 9 thank you okay read it one to go and they sung a new song uh -huh, saying thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed me unto god how by your blood out of kogi plateau state emo enugu out of the irresponsibility that comes with the men in that place out of the pride out of the selfishness out of the hatred the bitterness he has redeemed i've been called i sympathize with my people but i'm not part of that tragedy I am another tribe i've been carved out listen if you don't believe this thing you are not a christian it's not just that it's bad you are not a christian at all what else do you believe we have been called that's why in koinonia here you don't see anybody do anything which tribe i don't even want to know where you are coming from i know that there are two families the ones on earth and the ones in heaven we are all related the blood the veil torn a family no we no man after the flesh oh your father is this i'm not saying don't be sympathetic to people in your area or whatever jesus started preaching from the jews but some of this carnality this tribalism and this these garbages we bring 
there is a thief in every tribe there is a fool in every tribe there is a devil in every tribe every tribe has witches and wizards there are poor people in every tribe so it's just that you know we make it look just because you saw more northerners looking stupid you come up with a theology that there are all more evil people and say every evil person is it's just money monger is a lie there are people who have exempted themselves called out not everybody is a money monger not every lady is a materialistic person just looking for a millionaire it's a lie not every brother is an irresponsible person not knowing where he will go some people have seen the end they have seen you know what i'm doing to you is a reprogramming this is discipleship i am unifying you now it is on the strength of this you can call somebody brother and sister that issue of brother and sister for many people is carnal it's just carnal because you were told to say it brother um, alpha brother femi and the rest but when men like kenneth e hagen rw shambach when they used those names it was out of this revelation i do not know you in the flesh but if you are in christ we are brothers you are welcome they extend the right hand of fellowship everybody say the image we need the restoration of that image there are many people who are not spiritual live likeness we're coming there we must teach you how to be like Christ be like Christ be like Christ that's the image the image talks of being the likeness talks of doing the image talks of being being who you are not what you do let's go back to Genesis please give us verse 28 we'll discuss more 28 um, next next week 1 verse 28 Genesis now everybody I want you to observe something and God blessed them and said listen carefully be fruitful he never talked of having anything you be it first then later on he now said have dominion so god's focus when he's beginning to work with man is in being first before having we have reversed it somebody gets born again today and we say you must have you must have a car you must have a house which is he he's having something he has not become he's trying to have the likeness no image so one million naira comes he has but he has not become so it will destroy him are you saying that now yes have a wife but he has not become a husband so it destroys him the primary strategy and pattern god's kingdom pattern for discipling people and nation is to focus on their being before they are having listen those who write programs for foundational classes in churches must subscribe to this otherwise you are going to produce a powerless carnal many times devilish believers that's why there are witches and wizards in church because we are passionate about having so if i am born again and in two weeks i come with a flashy shoe flashy cloth i'm showing you how much i help me preach back to me i'm showing you how much i on the strength of that you will say i have faith and the brother who has just one trouser but the gift of the spirit the fruit of the spirit is working in him we look at him and we say no this one you don't have so because you don't have the word is not working our focus is on having spiritual men rank and rate people first by being so i can look at you and all you have is one trouser one bible but i see christ formed in you you are on your way fulfilling the dominion mandate i know that this guy will soon be a principality listen believers let me preach to you stop focusing on having focus on being first the image comes before the likeness is god speaking to us this is a message to someone already because our society is full of falsehood men and women who are obsessed in having 
starving why because we want to prove we live in a carnal world that only interprets and rates you based on what they can relate with none of these fruits of the spirit is something that is tangible in itself their manifestation can be tangible as you relax you relate with people and environment but you cannot know so i look at this brother and what he has is peace what he has is joy and i think those things are cheaper than money so the brother would rather kill the agenda to being and then focus on having when god begins to deal with a man you find out that the curriculum he gives you has nothing to do with things like teaching of prosperity it's going to be prayer first you are filled with the holy ghost are we together and then you begin to teach he's drumming on you issues of character holiness morality you have to greet people you move around and think i am from this i am a yo-yo guy and he says look drop all that thing oh i am the nobody talks to me i was a capon in this and god says that's that's your business and when you want to mess up he tells you listen nebuchadnezzar was not what he had he had money he had power so he could run his mouth and talk nonsense and then he was made to become a beast for how many years seven years a beast with the brain of a man the moment nebuchadnezzar recovered he became a preacher read your bible never empower people who have not become it's dangerous it's a lesson many of us will have to learn that you are a millionaire does not mean you carry a small child who has not become and give him money that's why i like Igbo people when they are doing business they bring in an apprentice no matter how rich that man is there is a limit to the exposure of that child is that true he now begins to do business and they study him one day they will leave money in the drawer five hundred thousand and throw some small things scattered and then the man will go out he will come back and find out that one thousand was missing and he will keep quiet that boy has not become the day he ever says settle me the man will say i will slap you. if you ever talk of settling you have not become you want to have you have not learned integrity you have not learned character you have not learned submission no hmm. is god teaching us being have you become an expression many of us today i can show you that the reality of god's image has not been found formed in you because that anger is still there you've been born again for five years you pray in tongues more than everybody but let somebody just say something small your name is sam and somebody just said uh, john uh, sorry what's the name you don't know my name look i i i know who i am if you do this is you think it's a sign that you are spiritual no I can look at your life and rank you spiritually in a moment i don't have to see a vision away with your cars away with all the money and the checks and all the prestige and the english and etc all those things could not have him i look at your life when i look at your life i'm searching for the christ the word of god already painted a picture and then he says let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus then the bible says he had something and was something but he gave them up and became 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 not possessed the possession happened when he became therefore god had so highly exalted him and given notice that people first became before they had the secular system reverses it packaging and falsehood is trying to portray something you are not so i borrow a shoe i borrow a suit i borrow watch are we together i borrow makeup i borrow hair i borrow anything what am i trying to do it's not that i i'm trying to show you i'm not cheap bottom line correct whether i'm cheap or not is 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 my own issue but i want you to know i am so conscious of what your perception about me that i don't mind faking everything around it but someone can sit down with gary and say no problem i'm not ashamed this is where i am now i will take it with honor and dignity 
if I don't look, if I look cheap to you like that, no problem. I agree with the process, but I am becoming. Next time somebody looks at you and tries to make you feel like you are a useless person, you, you cannot do this and that, no problem. You are becoming. You are becoming. Line upon line. This is what is happening to you in Koinonia. Many of you do not know what is happening to you. God has already given you a vision. You will be a great prophet, a great apostle. But you are saying, oh God, nobody has seen me. God says, sit down. You are becoming. You want to have access to the mic. You want to have access to a church. Your body is itching you to have access to lead a program. And God says, sit down. You first become before you have. Is God speaking to us? Hmm. Discipleship. Leaders, learn to discern people who have become before you give them access. Don't give people access as a general thing. If there are four people, three people, you now say, oh, you have given you too much access. Let me share it with this. No. In the kingdom, distribution is be, be, as a result of a careful study. I have discerned you can fake all those things and act like it but the truth is that if you are not it will show he said by their fruits not by their gifts by their how do you know them by their a gift is dash a fruit is a sign of maturity so someone insults you and says emeka do you know that when you were entering the university i already had phd and that thing stings you and you're like i'm a doctor oh, don't talk and the old man adam adam wants to resurrect with his foolishness and all of a sudden that regening has been crystallized and you laugh and say god bless you ah, ah. and he says is it the america that i know that used to beat everybody i heard of a regening let me tell you if you claim you are born again and there is no evidence of transformation you need help you need counseling you need a retreat praise the lord there are so many there are angry pastors there are wicked pastors there are angry people there are all kinds of arrogant people my name is so 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 and so and so do you know the one you we, we are looking at you and we are still seeing your culture if i still look at you and see your village then you are trying to say that calling out of tribe and nation has gone it's not it's not yet real discipleship training for reigning bringing you into the culture of the kingdom their way of life this is how we live in the kingdom we live through the law of love we live through the law of joy we are peaceful people in the kingdom ah my temper will kill somebody oh somebody hold me you are you are acting the moment you are acting like your village the old man is attempting to resurrect you must keep it dead we do these things and usually there are also other carnal people like us who hail us you know that hailing thing can be so demonic if we are not careful <clears throat> remember they hailed jesus and they said hail king of the jews a few weeks later on the same people said crucify him he say you say yes you are looking at me crucify him let his blood be on our head we have to be careful there is one who deserves to be lifted and held forever our job is to confirm into that image here we stand David song and lift our hands and we will hail Yahweh Hail Yahweh, here we stand and lift our voices. Together we hail Yahweh, hail Yahweh, we will hail Yahweh.
pastor your first assignment to believers is to make them spiritual the first assignment of a man of God to believers is to extract carnality. Carnality means a way of living. They must be aware of the divine life, the divine nature, the presence of the Holy Spirit. You turn people to become spiritual. The life of God is in me. I'm not ordinary. I was born by an ordinary man, an ordinary woman from social state. But now, I am a possessor of God's life literally not just some Christian gimmicks no I believe it it's a fact it's true how many believers are aware of that divine nature in them it tells the way we respond the Bible says he that cometh from above is above all he that cometh from above he that cometh from above is above all he that is of the earth is earthly I come from above born of God whatsoever is born of god overcome it overcome it overcome it challenges are not unusual defeat is what is unusual whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcomes even our faith but as many as believed him even to them that believed upon his name gave them power to become power to become power to become power to become they looked at paul ah, ah. paul who used to kill people saul that would collect a letter and go and slaughter people what happened spirituality listen this is not an issue of being charismatic if you don't train your people to be supernatural to approach life and approach things with the consciousness of the divine life the consciousness of divinity there are great men of god all around the world who have spent their lives and spent the years of their lives bringing the church into a consciousness reprogramming and recalibrating our mind that the believer in partnership with the holy spirit is invincible we must restore these teachings there are many carnal believers on earth in a bit to balance in a bit to teach we have made people carnal helpless no matter what happens they say oh well things just happen like this no you are in every way divine that's why we don't walk in signs and wonders how do you stand and stretch your hands to somebody and expect a transference how do you do that how do you stand and speak there is no wire tied to you to someone outside because carnally speaking i can only see with my optical eyes but when you step back and and walk in the realm of the spirit then you know that the vistas of the spirit are not 2020 infinity infinity left only to your faith so I can stand here and see someone in overflow three and speak and expect the power of God to touch that person. Why I wasn't born this way is called spirituality. There's too much carnality. That's why when you tell people God will bless you, they still want you to, they want to reduce themselves. And many pastors, this is the limitation of exaggeration on education. When you think that because i'm educated i have a master's in this i have a phd in that now there are very educated people in this place but when people trust their education and then you see them castigate spiritual things anything that does not subscribe to the law of dy dx they fight it are we together mm. you anoint somebody say what is this with this oil they write all kinds of articles. Titan is a scam by men of God to raise money. You see them. And then at the end of that ungodly blog, they now say, my name is Pastor so -so and so I'm a pastor with living Christ parish or whatever it is. And that is deceptive because somebody will say, ah, this is a pastor. And you know, carnal people will relate to those things immediately because they are carnally minded. Are we together? Anything that massages the flesh they like it once you challenge people why should you come and spend the night praying what is all this blah, 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 thing 10 hours five hours three hours please we are not human beings god gave us a brain and they say that to castigate spirituality the bible says through faith hebrews chapter 10 and verse 3 hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3 through faith we understand please give it to us through faith 
we understand that the world systems 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 were framed by what please help me they were not framed by cement and water they were framed by an invisible substance called the word of god so that the things which were seen were not made of things which to appear that's why god tells somebody that by this time next year you will be a landlord and his spirit wants to receive but the carnality in his mind will fight it how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man and he says have you forgotten the power of the highest this is the mystery that makes things happen i want to show you why we don't get results god has declared that this is a year of triumph but only spiritual people can receive a carnal man receives not the things of the spirit neither can he understand them why because they are spiritually discerned let me tell you how to know you are not growing by how much you rely so much on your senses and how embarrassed you are to be spiritual about life because there are people who are embarrassed to be spiritual not just that they don't like it it's a thing of shame it's a thing of shame oh you are playing and just playing a worship song and it's entering your spirit i beg we are human beings a worship song entering my spirit what is there you are listening to all kinds of music you don't know the difference are you seeing now many people in church you have a selection there's gospel music there's another one by a, 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 a secular artist that you want i don't have a problem with secular artists i only have this a problem with the spirits behind them i love them as people but there's a spirit behind them music is not all about melodies music is about sounds and the access that those sounds give spirits into your life so someone tells you look i went to school this i went to school he said much learning make thee mad i went to school please allow me to play this song so you just play women of faith for a while just to ease the guilt of feeling carnal then somewhere in the selection something just comes babylon babylon then to witchcraft to witchcraft and you are lying down your body is sleeping your spirit does not sleep and something is happening to you how many of you have listened to a message and fell asleep and it continued playing and you followed it how many of you were sleeping and you were acting what that message was saying it now becomes graphic not just that you are hearing suddenly you find yourself in scenarios doing certain things making confessions these are spiritual things the ancient knew this we who are modern people have become so bankrupt of spirituality pastors let your people be spiritual don't pity them because they prayed five minutes and they're feeling tired and you say no you know our church there are balloons everywhere let's not make people feel you are praying and somebody falls down and the way his head hits the the, the chair even you you say kite hallelujah amen let's stop why do you stop a baby when he's walking and he tries to fall you allow them hi ah, yes you say sorry but you don't stop the work we must be spiritually minded that's why the gifts of the spirit cannot flow in us we're not spiritual that's why you cannot believe that god can open you up that's why when you hear testimonies the testimonies come to a carnal mind and you start looking at the people scientifically i hope they are lying hepatitis cancer this lady that i know how about allah it's just that koinonia where everybody will just keep quiet but me we 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 know at that were you blind blind when because of how people are carnally minded there are people who don't believe anything even if they see somebody fall down they will still say somebody pushed him somewhere Hapa. believers you know sometimes when people argue i say ah, ah. prophecy you hear them say they gave somebody the names of people maybe there are people doing it but is it easy to re to to keep names try it is it easy to act like that carnality because we are not spiritually minded if by next week God opens a door for David down we can look and people will now say this guy he touched something we always 
credit unusual happenings to the realm of the spirit that is a clue that to remain unusual you must remain in the spirit you are like mere men there is nothing worth celebrating the dominion mandate is a restoration into a life of spirituality that the spirit realm governs the physical realm yes it does the spirit realm you must build yourself the divine nature of God the character of God the second dimension let's look at it quickly is the likeness please give it to us again Genesis 1 26 likeness talks of the functionality how God functions the image of God talks about who God is his being but his likeness talks of how he walks believers there are some of you who god saved many people through your hands but you don't know how to build them because you have not been taught the first thing is to help them become spiritual that's why when we when people get born again here we introduce them to the prayer department not just to be workers in the house why because praying they are filled with the holy ghost they are praying you begin to teach them the value of the word of god you begin to teach them the value of communion you begin to teach them the value of corporate fellowship these are foundations then when they are strong then you begin to teach them how to walk like god you start teaching them speech everybody says speech the first teaching on how to function like god is how to speak like him hmm. you reign you reign you reign you reign Kadosh. you are mighty on your throne you reign you reign you reign you reign Kadosh. you are mighty on Then you begin to learn that he has made us unto our God. Listen, kings and priests. Your priesthood talks of your ministry to God. Your ministry spiritually. That kingly dimension talks of governance and legislature. As a priest, the jurisdiction is a secret place. The place of incense. The place of ministry where you send that incense, it will rise to heaven. The prayers of the saints, the intercession, fellowship, communion, koinonia, that's priesthood. Then you take away that priestly regalia and you put on your crown and your signet ring and you hold your scepter and step out. That is legislature, that is governance. Everyone must manifest this king priest dimension. You are a priest. When you come to the house of God, you are ministering to God. You are offering up worship and intercession for the saints. You are advocating for the destinies of men. You are communing with God Almighty. That's priesthood. Then, you take on that regalia of kingship. And then you legislate. And the Bible says, where the word of a king is, there is, please help me, where the word of a common man is there is sound but where the word of a king is so i have been made a king and a priest not unto my village unto god and so i can legislate listen the first thing that must begin to change in your life to prove that you are functioning like god is your speech your speech ah we are the weak ones we are the ones who are this and that uh -uh. You know, the Bible says, do not say before an angel I made a mistake. Your speech, it matters. Are we together? Your, your words begin to be cultured by the word of God. You don't speak all kinds of things and invoke woes upon yourself. Your communications become spiritual. Bless you. Good morning, sir. Oh, Aluta Continua, Victoria Escarta, you are prophesying. Others are speaking, they are not kings. But you, you have become a believer, you have been redeemed, yet you are still speaking. 
you have come out of egypt egypt is still in you and now when you speak you are sending sounds to the realm of the spirit and you are programming things they speak and it doesn't happen you speak and it happens the suffering continues you massage hardship pressure puts you and pushes you and everything that comes out is your hey why you why you and, and you, you all this kind of very very unbelieving talk hallelujah you hear a bad report in the name of jesus christ a thousand may fall by my right that's a king speaking ten thousand by my by my right side none shall harm me only with my eyes will i see and behold and, uh, the reward of the wicked ah i will make sure you don't marry and she tells you to your face and you smile a cause causeless shall not stand there is a mystery that no you see all this threat the woman said this ah uh -uh, a cause causeless shall not stand are we together yes will you ever finish this house the hand of zerubbabel that started this work it's not something you just reminisce in your mind it must be focalized it must be focalized i am the head and not the tail i am above and not beneath the gentiles come to my light lord favor surrounds me like a shield this is a believer talking let me tell you what ordinary people would do the people in our villages know this you see what they do during festivals the major activity in festival is talking and dancing then death follows later on in the evening people start dying because people are talking talking chanting things you are moving around you just sense a presence that is not of god uh, don't sit and say Kai, i'm not sure be sure by praying in tongues start tongues first let let praying in tongues precede you while you are verifying so that should in case you can be praying and hear a shout from another room and say oh i see There are human beings that carry spirits they are innocent they are on the way they are on their way coming to your house to introduce spirits not unwillingly but all of a sudden you sense an urge and you begin to pray and they call you and say sorry i just feel like not coming and you know that not only have they revealed something to you they themselves need to be helped you can easily know the spirits that control men by their reaction when you pray because the spirit influences them to act in certain ways that's why many of you when you finish praying in your house that's the day everybody quarrels you i teach you the mystery now the moment you pray agitations from everyone you go you enter your room and the kindest person in your room is attacking you the devil is sending a response if you know you attack him back with joy 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 when you turn to Canada, don't shout at me yes i'm coming back from koinonia say you claim you are coming back from the church and look at how you match this i'm sorry it's okay. You reign, you ancient Zion king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and we Kadosh. So you learn how to speak by faith. Mark 11, 22, 23. If thou shalt say, give it to us. Jesus is teaching the disciples how kings speak. He's teaching them the language of royalty. Listen, this thing is not just some, some you know, many believers after working for a while, we claim that those who do these things are baby Christians. It's a joke, a principle that Jesus himself introduced nothing in your life will ever change until you sustain capacity to command it to he told job has thou commanded thy morning if you don't command it something else will impregnate your morning and jesus answering said unto them have faith in god the correct rendition there is have the faith of god operate like him for verily i say unto you now whoever shall say to what say to what so it is okay to speak to things not just to human beings jesus our high priest spoke to a mountain spoke to a tree 
who told you they don't hear biology did not teach you that they hear but jesus the spiritual teaches you that they can hear who told you the earth does not hear who told you that when you stand and speak over your family miles and kilometers apart they don't hear so you can stand and begin to legislate they call you at home and they say in the last three days everybody has been sick you say okay i know what to do and sometimes it's not just becoming a priest you jam the door put your crown carry your regalia i send the wind on Aaron. carry the anointing from here to that location you must believe this thing i'm teaching you i'm programming you to be spiritual and how to function like god if thou shalt say unto this mountain be thou removed that means when you speak to things you must be specific specific give us this day what do you want ah i want i want to do well that's a vague and careless prayer you must call it by name whatsoever adam called that was the name thereof so you name your destiny peace you name your marriage joy are we together you don't turn and say this stupid husband no way my marriage is heaven on earth i call it what it is I refuse to be poor i reject it it doesn't glorify god it doesn't help me fulfill my assignment i decree and declare favor surrounds me if there is a garrison of favor men are coming to bless me today this is a king speaking you are impregnating your morning while others are sleeping you are speaking Shagato kaskariata. favor comes in the name of jesus no accidents no nothing I am immune to activities of witches. I am above. I come from above. While you are speaking, somebody is sleeping and laughing at you. By evening, they tell you the person is in the hospital. When he comes back home, he will never laugh at you again when you are speaking. That laughter is, a, is mockery. Mockery is initiated by a spirit. When Jesus wanted to raise the dead and he said the dead was sleeping, people who were crying turned and started laughing they mocked him and said get out of the house go out get out of the house i want to raise the dead and when he was alone he said little girl talita kumi i say unto you arise are we together yeah when abraham had a conversation and he heard that god was speaking about a child sarah had it and laughed that laugh was sarcasm one of the proofs that somebody has a wicked spirit living in him is how sarcastic he is when believers make faith proclamations over their destiny you see someone while he's jumping his shoe has already caught and you laugh you see that kind of laughter is a spirit it's not just an act it's not just a negative disposition that's why when we say pray and speak and other people stand and they're wondering ah, ah, you mean this is how these people speak that's what that's what brought us here we acted like him Shabranda Kaskia. in the name of jesus people are blessed tonight the miracle service is a blessing koinonia is a blessing everything flourishes in this ministry because a word waters it words are powerful god rules the earth by the word of his power so you learn the speech of the kingdom you learn how to manifest faith but one of the things that you also learn are the systems of the kingdom i'm teaching you how to be like god let me teach you a deep mystery our time is gone i'll teach you this and then we'll just pray we'll continue next week have you been blessed god never does anything in the bible as a process twice read your bible god's system is to initiate things once and build a system around them for continuity believers hear me i want to teach you how to function like god that's why many businesses fail that's why many people cannot carry out the dominion mandate we'll discuss it next week when we talk of governance he says be fruitful then he says what multiply replenish subdue you can't do those things if you do not understand god's system so god initiates a process as a template then designs a system around it watch this god created man as her dispensation knows once and never had to create man again are we together 
he created man with the woman in him and then he brought the woman out and designed a system in them and says continue the result of that reproduction 7.2 billion people on the earth in spite of an average of eight people that die per second the earth is still growing because a man built a system systems are powerful are you hearing what i'm saying systems are what powerful when you do business by repeating the same thing you are not acting like god you create a product this is what many people have done google and all of that they don't know about you yet you carry their laptop because there is a system they made it once that's why coca-cola and the rest they have different branches around the world what did they program in those branches systems everybody says systems the greatest conglomerates in the world today operate through systems the same thing happening everywhere the catholics roman catholics i love them among other reasons because of the power and the dexterity of their systems systems maintain consistency it is how god functions god has not needed even when man fell when he was about to wipe the people in noah's days he still preserved the seed and out of those eight families new beginning he started another race systems jesus came as the firstborn of the begotten he died and nobody has had to die for his sins again a system of salvation whoever believes in him shall not perish are we blessed yes africans do not understand the systems of the kingdom so we do the same thing again and again do you know why god created things like videos systems so i don't have to preach the same message twice i preach it once and it is captured in a system and while i'm sleeping i am multiplying the influence to millions of people it's called systems don muen has never met with you yet you have been blessed by his ministry the anointing also obeys systems that's why everybody in every corner listening to don muen's songs will feel the anointing think about it you are not a leader if you do not master building systems when I learned this principle, it made my life easy. Look at how God built a system. God himself transferred governance to man and programmed that man and handed the earth to him. Systems. Now man is mishandling the earth largely, but it's a system. The first crops that came out of the earth, the Bible says God himself planted. I hope you know. Read your Bible. God planted trees, systems, and then in the tree, he built systems. What is another name for that system? A seed. This is how God operates. A seed is not money. A seed is a mystery that represents the system of continuity. Continuity. In every man born of a woman, there is a seed that represents potentials for continuity. In every woman, there is a womb that receives a seed as potentials for continuity so once there is a seed and there is a womb there is reproduction hear me once there is a seed and there is a womb there is what reproduction a seed without a womb cannot bring reproduction a womb without a seed cannot bring reproduction you need to find the wombs of there are many wombs on earth a woman's womb is only an adumbration of many other wombs the morning has a womb every day has a womb you can impregnate it with words and it will give birth in the daytime the pregnancy that happened in the night can be delivered for you in the daytime your mind is a womb information are the seeds when you plant informations in your mind like a woman gets pregnant over time it will deliver to you and change your life are we blessed god never does the same thing twice when you find out that you are trying to do the same thing as a leader the dominion mandate is not working in your life there must be a system of continuity let me tell you is one of the reasons why we never grow and never flourish 
how you know there is no system in your life is that your absence stops continuity when your absence stops continuity then there is no system so you are the ceo of the company you travel for two weeks you come back and meet hellfire there's no system nobody knows what to do no system if i'm not around for one year in koinonia it will still continue running the only thing that will be missed is my unique grace and anointing why systems hmm. that's how pastors should train pastors you should be if 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 pastor alpha pastor femi and promise are all my pastors for instance if you hear pastor alpha you should not feel bad that i was not there that's systems i have reproduced myself in him when you hear him you will miss me i love it every time i'm not around and people send me a text they say apostle we miss you but god koinonia was fire i said that's right systems but because of our inferiority and this village mindset that we have grown with every time you are not around and things don't work you are happy do you know why that's why many leaders do not mentor and train others because they think it is their way by exclusively capturing knowledge and keeping it how many people have died with secrets that can turn the lives of people how about anointings no if he carries the same anointing as i'm carrying will he ever respect me again look at god he didn't wait for you to be renewed he gave you the holy spirit straight up immediately after confession he granted you the holy spirit he didn't say change no he granted you the holy spirit to help you part of the ways that we rule and dominate is by building systems around things your prosperity is not something that is in the hands of god today your prosperity has been programmed in a system are you hearing what i'm saying god can in the systems are supervised so it's not like they are random there is still an individual supervising them the same way you put systems you can come and look at it and you can decide to influence it that's a sign that you are the owner of the system somebody can slaughter someone as a thief and go back home and get his wife pregnant that system will not stop because he's a wicked man now you'll go to hell if he doesn't repent but as far as that pregnancy is concerned an unbeliever who does not know god taps into god's system of wealth and abundance hallelujah i was telling the school of ministry students that there's something i'm going to teach them about finances that have not touched and have not taught any of the sets ah it's a revelation that god gave me that i mean if i teach you that and you don't prosper i don't know how to help you again i i don't know how to help you systems let me give you a little tip of the iceberg that being employed forever till retirement is a cause because in god's system you start under people but eventually the goal is for you to be established yourself so the spirit of servitude is such that you continue to serve a man if you not everybody will have platforms like churches businesses but even under those platforms there must allocate a place that allows your grace to function that is the spirit of god and is the program of god that's why he carved out earth and gave man but he gave man delegated authority that means it is exousia but it is still supervised so he can call man to order like pharaoh could still call joseph to order but pharaoh did not interrupt it is the system we run koinonia with that's why sometimes you never come and see me check ah, have the leaders fixed this flower well systems there are men of god you are preaching you are preparing sermon they just call you and say one wire has caught you bike by yourself to sabo and buy the wrong wire and bring it back before you finish you you forgot everything and then you are stressing yourself when you are doing everything by yourself it's a sign that you are not functioning like god let me show you why many of our parents are under stress they did not mentor the young people so they kept doing everything now the youngest person in the family is 31 yet it's still father and mother that is providing food because they did not teach them how education does not teach you how 
it just enlightens your mind it is mentorship it is discipleship that teaches you how so a man of god starts a ministry and there are ordinary people and then you start teaching them how to prosper you show them the pathways to the anointing are we together you don't hide it there's nothing to hide these are the secrets you guide them you mentor them they receive measures of that anointing that is upon you you have built a system and then they begin to function the key to hardship is to not be able to reproduce yourself through systems you will pay the price and you will never last everything that has lasted and outlived the founders subscribe to function like god we're going to pray dominion the chaos in our society today is because we have not conformed to his image and his likeness his divine nature and his functionality you see why it's important to get people saved because that is the condition that can guarantee the potentials for dominion ye must be born again that's why we make altar calls that's why we're still going to make altar call tonight because there are people scattered inside outside who need Jesus now most preachers don't tell you why they just say come to Jesus there is a hellfire somewhere to burn the living daylight out of you and you run out of fear you are born again and you don't know what you ran from and to what dominion this is not just the issue of heaven it does not take so much to be assured of heaven because it's not something you do by yourself but when it has to do with your reigning listen the degree to which you have become like god in his image and his likeness is the degree to which you measure your success and your prosperity are you seeing why life cooperates with others life cooperates with god and everybody who functions like him life was designed to cooperate with god alone if you are not god life will not cooperate with you so our needless sufferings and pains is because we have fabricated methodologies by ourselves attempting to get god's result our way let hope let it rise darkness trembles in your own someone is rising beyond every shadow every shackle please rise up on your feet let go rise darkness trembles in your holy life let go let it rise tonight darkness trembles in listen i want you to look at your life carefully we're going to pray now you can trace every negative thing to your life to your inability to have conformed to the image or the likeness there are troubles and sicknesses that have come to us today high blood pressure because of worry when the peace and the joy of god is in you listen there is no drug that can give you peace there is no drug that can give you joy when you smoke cocaine and snuff all kinds of things they don't give you peace they attempt it you know why people try getting high and they take substance they are looking for peace they are looking for joy they are attempting to use things life was designed to respond to you once you are a possessor of the gift of righteousness and then abundance of grace that comes through knowledge through knowledge the bible says good understanding giveth favor but the way of the transgressor is hard could it be hear me that this is the missing link in your ministry could it be that this is the missing link in your business could it be that this is the missing link in your family why are things not working i'm always fighting with my wife i think i made a mistake i married a wrong woman it's a lie i think i and my children are stubborn there may be something 
you are fighting your children because you are trying to force them you are violating something about the dominion mandate you don't force people you give them a revelation you force your children to wear your, the cloth you want you force them to read the course you want every time you force men rebellion is inevitable that's why the children revolt but when you give them a revelation you see that god never forces us i set before you life and death i set before you blessing and cursing but here's my advice choose life why so that you can live in other words i want you to live and if you must live the key is choosing life not i force you to live that's what parents are doing and that's why children revolt when you resort back to giving them revelations look it looks like i'm hard on you but it's because i love you i've made mistakes in my own life and i want you to be a great gentleman i'm proud of you and i see potentials that gentleman by himself will start talking in well by himself will stop dressing like rags and remove all those things and start babbing well and not looking like a thief the gentleman will subscribe immediately because you gave them revelation but when you use force on people you are acting as the antichrist man was not mentioned in every element that was given that man should dominate man was not given there are pastors that dominate members and they never see they are anointed but people never like them they can walk into your house any day anytime cook for me fry chips for me i'm a man of god add this and that for me after all elijah told the shunammite elijah did not force her home. the woman had a right to refuse the trouble in the world is a negligence of the dominion mandate nobody was born rich nobody was born poor are we together people program themselves something in my life my life is hard creation is hostile to me in the garden of eden nothing fought adam nothing satan was still alive but adam was immune he only gave access lift your voice and pray and say lord what key do i need to apply to my life please pray pray why are things not working in my life he spoke and said let them have dominion why is my marriage not working why is my job not working why are doors closed over my life why do people hate me i'm anointed why is my church not growing why can't i experience the anointing of the holy spirit why am i poor and broke and begging at all times let hope rise darkness trembles in your own Sing it one more time. Yeah, let hope rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Shay na 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 ma say na na ni. Let hope, let it rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Hallelujah. Hold on. Genesis, please give us something just came into my heart and I want to share it because Genesis chapter 4. We are going to read verse 8. Let me show why you why our world is a wicked world because you see every time people fail instead of taking responsibility that i am violating the principles and the laws of dominion usually we look for people to fight the bible says and cain this was after the sacrifice are we together now the sacrifice of abel was taken and the sacrifice of cain was rejected what was wrong violation of patterns violations of systems are we together now Cain got angry Cain can be your uncle 
Cain can be your senior brother. You see where enmity came from? I am the senior brother in this family. How can this younger one be successful? That's what was happening. There are men who fight their wives. There are others who fight their younger ones. There are people who hate themselves. And the Bible says it came to pass that when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. What fruit of the spirit was missing? No love. No love. No love. Are we seeing there now? Next verse. And the Lord said unto Cain, listen, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. That's the liar there at work in him. The manifestation of Satan at work. Am I my brother's keeper? No kindness. No, he had become hardened and wicked. Verse 10. Listen. He says, and he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. Verse 11. He says, and now thou art caused from the earth, which had opened her mouth to receive thy blood. Oh dear, I think I've lost myself. The verse I'm looking for, I think is the verse before verse 8, that says, um, Cain was angry, and God told him, if you have done well, will it not be accepted maybe it's, i'm sure it's the verses other verses in front we'll leave it because of time that's the scripture i was trying to look for that after cain met with god and was angry god told him come on that why are you angry that i accepted your brother's sacrifice and rejected yours if you did it well will it not be accepted but if you do not do it well sin lie it at your door i think it's before yes it says give us verse six Verse 6, we'll read 6 and 7. And the Lord said unto Cain, thank you, this is the verse, thank you, media. Why art thou what? Angry. God is speaking to you now, emoji. Why are you angry at another man's church? That the church is increasing and you are not increasing. Businessman, why are you angry at another man's business? Why are you angry that uh, your sister is having her children well cultured? He says... And why is thy countenance falling? That's frustration. Verse 7. If thou doest well according to patterns, shall not thy shall thou not be accepted? Then he says, And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at thy door. See, let me tell you, every time you don't do well. You will not get results and when you don't get the results anger frustration will come in that's why you hate successful people there are times that you see somebody with a nice car and just say thieves all these young pastors they are the ones who know how they are manipulating you see someone anointed and you begin to speak cynicism is a product of not obeying the dominion mandate was given to all men everybody say all men the ministry God called specific people into ministry, but capacity to execute the dominion mandate, legislature and governance, reproduction, fruitfulness, the capacity to subdue was given to all men. There's no need for jealousy. Lift your voice and insist and say, Lord, from tonight, you are giving me enlightenment. I have the gift of righteousness. Knowledge is causing grace to be abundant for me. I insist that I begin to reign. 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 Pray we're rounding up. I insist that I begin to reign. Pray. No one may have achieved certain things from where you come from, but you are the game changer. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light my life. Light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. 
Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Pray it. Light my life. Light my life. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. 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 Whatever said you will not go tonight must go for you. I give the chains falling. Lift your hands. While you pray. There are many of you. Listen, please. I'm just throwing as the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. There are many of you that your sickness is not really sickness. Bring them out, please. Your sickness is a demonic oppression what you need is not healing for these are the kinds of people God will visit right now hallelujah because I'm seeing blue flames in the sky instrumentalists don't stop playing please hallelujah blue flames and the Lord told me this one is to take away the spirits that sponsor sickness lift your hands many of you will be very surprised that certain things you have been calling diseases are yokes of darkness. Lift your hands, everybody. At the count of three, you're going to shout Jesus again. As you shout Jesus, many of you, those spirits will literally jump out. Jump out of your life. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands, everybody. Inside and outside, God is visiting everyone. At the count of seven, please, I want you to shout at the top of your voice. One, two, three, four, five. Get ready. Thank you, Jesus. Six, seven. Every spirit, spirit, spirit that sponsors sicknesses. Spirit, sicknesses. things that manifest like sicknesses. You keep wasting your money on drugs. It's leaving you. Don't wait till you come out. Deliverances are happening to people. Now all of those who are here, Satan, you and every demonic cohort, at the count of three you are living right now. Hear me, all these spirits. Now one, Two, three, go, 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 out, 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 out now, out, out, come out now.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me. This is very important. The Lord is showing me someone you've been having. It's like something is hooking you on your neck. Just your neck. You try to cough as if you want to cough it out. Please, who is the person? The Lord is ministering to me. There's somebody with that situation. Please, once I call your case, don't waste our time. We are trying to beat time. Honestly, there is done. It will go now. Sister, look at me. Look at me. That thing will disappear. Hold my hands. Out. Now. In the name of Jesus. Christ. My hands. Place one hand on your throat. Out. Now. All of you just lay your hands there. Let me just pray at once. Please, we are not playing pranks. We are going to take some testimonies right away. There are people who are receiving miracles right now. Please be checking yourself. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. Father, let this demonic thing that is hooking your people go as a sign of the release you are bringing. Right now in the name of Jesus, it leaves. What's wrong with this baby? Come. Are you the mother? Yes, sir. What's wrong with him? Sometimes he's still hiccup. Hiccups. Look at this boy, as small as he is. Stops now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He stops and does not return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Does not return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, mother. Right now, help her, please. This, this cause of delay in your life is gone. Now, let her go. Leave her now. I proclaim you healed now. Please go back and check yourself. Go back and check yourself. Hallelujah. There is someone here. Hallelujah. Please, are you listening to me? It's like muzzle pull. You can just be moving and it will hook you. And you can just stand on your leg. This has been happening again and again. You feel it like muzzle pull. It just holds your leg. Move. Please, who is the person? Come, just lay your hands there. They are praying for you right now. It will leave you right now. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit. Please lay your hands there. It is going to go. Thank you, Jesus. Father, right now, let your power rest upon them and let that demonic thing go. Be gone now. 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 And as I lay my hands, just check yourself. Now. In the name of Jesus, do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Check yourself now. Check yourself now. Check yourself. Check yourself. We'll take testimonies. Hallelujah. See, miracles are happening. Let's, let's just finish up and then we'll have time for testimonies. Hallelujah. Listen. The Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing a lady. Hallelujah. Please, let's have our attention. The Lord is ministering to me, showing me a lady. You had, a th you saw a cat. Now, I don't know if it's physically or spiritually. You saw a cat. It came to fight with you. And from that time, you've not been feeling fine. You're feeling like there's something inside you. Who is the person? A cat. A cat. It's an encounter with a cat. The Lord showed me. Please, inside or outside. When we get that person, let, let the person come out quickly. Quickly. I need to pray for the person. This is very demonic and we must deal with it. A cat. You saw it. It came. I don't know what, what, what transpired, but it's a very demonic thing. 
bit when we have the people. Let's deal with it. Now I'm going to pray for the sick. Those who are sick. Please, all of you who are sick, just come and line up. If you can form two lines, one in front, one at the back. Very quickly. You came here sick. Please, this is a miracle service. We're here for you. We are not in a hurry. Ushers, please coordinate them or protocol whoever. Coordinate them. Just make two lines, one in front, one at the back. Please hurry up. Worship us. Give us a very powerful worship while we get the devil out of these people's lives. Thank you. Now it's time for God to minister to the sick. While you're standing, talk to the Lord and say, Lord, it's over. It must leave me now. Exceedingly, abundantly, far above all. all you could ask. I want you to see that sickness for the last time because it's leaving you. According to Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal. Somebody help me. Please, as I lay hands on you, just begin to check yourself. Check yourself. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He is going to fulfill every promise. What's the problem? You have a uh, father. Who brought this small girl? My auntie. Auntie, where are you? Who is who brought this small girl? Please, if you bring people that are very small, come with them. Is you? Come, auntie, come. What's wrong with her? She's sick. What do you mean she's sick? What's wrong with her? Oh. Eh? She's Oh, cough. Oh, okay. That's all right. God bless you. Sweetheart, look at me. You believe Jesus can heal you? You believe Jesus can heal you? Okay, help. You. Look at me. Help. In the name of Jesus Christ.
let me explain something. There are some of you who, when I pray for you the way you are looking at me, it's as if you don't believe what I did. I ask you what is wrong. Are you getting me? I'm just flowing by the spirit. When I lay hands, some of you are trying to explain and you feel bad that I'm not responding. I don't need to know. The same power will solve the problem. Are you getting my point? Occasionally I may ask you it is just, I'm just flowing as the spirit is leading me, okay? Bless you worshipers. Please continue. Son, please. Daniel, what? Just about two, three months ago. So I've taken to hospital. First hospital. What was the issue? What's the issue? Maybe like he put a lot of saliva in his mouth. His mouth has burned to one side. It's not working normal again. It's not smart again. It's not working. It looks like an imbecile. But he was not born like this. This thing started like just about three months ago. Yes. What? See how wicked the devil is. What happened to him? I mean, what, what? According to him, he plays ball. He's a goalkeeper. According to him, he's a goalkeeper. He's, yes, he said he dived and hit his head on, on against stone. The first hospital I took to, they say he affected his head, his brain. But when I went to a teaching hospital last time, 
the consultant said there's nothing like that, but he fell to a pediatric uh, clinic, which were, were given an appointment by February. But I believe God will work upon that. I say we should come here this morning. Absolutely. Look at me. Boy, does he understand me? Don't worry, don't worry, sir. It's okay. Look at me. Jesus will heal you right now. Huh? Hmm? Look at the boy crying. It's okay. Don't cry. This is why this meeting is put together. If this is the only guy that we heal and he experiences the love of Jesus, let me tell you, this sacrifice is worth it. Are you hearing me? Boy, look at me. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's all right. It's all right. So look at the fact. Oh, please, please, somebody help this man with a handkerchief. I beg you, sir. Please. Or anything. Please. Let's, let's. This is. Please, please, sir. It's, it's all right. It's all right. You may not know how much he has been spending. You see, this is a wicked thing. You see what pains me? This is why we deal with these things. It's all right. Please. Please. Please, daddy. It's all right. Because I know why you are crying. You are not just crying because of him. You are crying because your finances are tight. Is that true? This is what the Lord is ministering to me. Is that true? Yes, sir. That's why you are crying. You are not just crying. I have cancer. But uh, I'm here for both this my son and my mother. I've been to you about two years ago. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please help him with it. Please. Brothers and sisters, when a man cries, the situation, this is not... I think this man is a police officer also. When a police officer is crying, thank God for koinonia. Boy, look at me. Can he talk? Say Jesus. Jesus. Say in the name of don't worry, I'll pray for you. That demon that is responsible for this, you are leaving this boy now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out! Now! Come out of him! That issue of partial paralysis is gone. Right now. That saliva is gone. Stand up. Come on, look at me. Shout it. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a shout. Say Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at the Father rejoicing. Look at. Give Jesus praise. This is why this meeting. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Hey. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Come and dance, come and dance. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Hey. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me. Stand up, you stand up. Stand up. You couldn't walk very well. Walk now. Come, follow me. Jump. 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 Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Look at me. You are family members. I prophesy to you, your finance changes now. I prophesy to you, and I use this as a point of contact. Whatever the devil has used to cripple your life, I speak it right now. See, when the Lord does a miracle, there is an anointing. You take advantage of it. Miracles are languages. I command everything that has refused to work in your life. This night, I command it to walk. I command it to walk. 
I command it to walk. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord, the Lord increase you. Please let's continue. Go ahead and play. God is doing great things. We are still going to take some more testimonies. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Go back, sir. We are going to take a few testimonies. I promise and Benga, let's do it this way. There are people receiving miracles right now. See, the moment you find a miracle, don't sit back. Hallelujah. Uh, ushers will help them. Once you check your body, there are many things changing right now. I want you to move here quickly. They'll come and confirm you and will allow you to share. To the shame of the devil. Go ahead. Both those that I'm praying for, those in the congregation, those who were delivered, something happened to you. Go ahead and pray. God is doing mighty things here. Sabarai Kabani Nagode Out! Cheto Kabani Nagode Zemako Kabani Out! 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 Nagode The Lord is showing me a wicked spirit tying this lady down. Let her go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out! Release her. And this delay, this thing you put in her stomach, take it out now. Take it out now. Let it go. Out! Just as you hold them, make sure you are praying in tongues. You must saturate the atmosphere with tongues. You don't just hold people like that. Devils are living. Whether it's through me or through you, they should go. Yes, Lord, let it go. By your power, by your fire. Oh, yeah. 
Nina Yesune, You felt something coming out. Yes. The devil that wants to remain in your body, he must let you go this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. And then I fell down to the ground and then I was brought here. I just felt very light. Very light. Yes. You are free in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. God bless you. Hallelujah. Any other testimony? Okay, while they come, let's just have the testimonies first. And Hallelujah. That's a powerful song. He's a miracle. Old school but powerful songs. Alpha, you are Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle. Hallelujah. Under the anointing, I can do stupid things, but I'm not just acting foolishly. Where's the water? Is it not the water you brought for me? I said you should give her. I didn't say you should collect it. Huh? I know why I drank it and I gave her. Take, my dear. You just do what I asked you to do. Take it. Uh, 
There are three that bear witness in the earth. The spirit, the water. Lord, be cleansed now. That demon, I see you in the spirit already. Out you go. On your mark, get set, go. Go. Now. Go. Out of her. Out of her. And return no more. Cancer. That's what I said. Cancer. Uh, uh, uh. That cancer. one they said. Uh, that one they said. Doctors told you. Yes. Did you bring your report? No. You didn't bring your medical report. No. Prostrate cancer. Uh, that what they said. You believe Jesus will heal you? Why not? Right now. Yes. Daddy, God will heal you right yes. now. How many of you believe God will heal our daddy? Cancer, you are a spirit. Mm. And in the name of Jesus, depart from this body now. Together with all the symptoms, prostrate cancer, go. Go. You will go back to the hospital and they will not see a trace of cancer in your body. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for somebody. I'm seeing pile, pile pile and this is not just ordinary pile it's quite advanced please let's hurry up pile i need to prophesy on somebody look let me tell you something um this is this is a family are you getting my point this is a family and this is this is like a hospital it's a medical center. When you enter the hospital, if they say remove your clothes and lie down, you won't tell them, do you know I'm an adult? You will just lie down quietly because this is, this is a spiritual hospital where we deal with a lot of nonsense that Satan wants to bring in people's lives. This is not the only person. There are at least two other people. Please, once we pray for you, don't come and stop us after the meeting and say, actually, I was trying. This is a family. Hallelujah. Jesus, there's one more person. Yes, Lord. Now! Thank you, Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. You are living. Shagapata. I see you already. You are going. I tell you, discernment is a powerful gift of the spirit. Content. I'm going to pray that many of us need, need discernment. Let her go. You see, medicine calls it pile. But look at the real thing. It would have been anything. That's why I tell you, go now. Please, don't waste our time. Go, leave. In the name of Jesus. There's one more person. I hope that. Hallelujah. 
Now, I need to pray for somebody. This is a funny case. Your money used to disappear and miss physically. Please. This is something that has been very serious. You will keep money, you will count it. It's not the same. I know some of you are funny until you see it happen in real life to people. Come out, the Lord is showing me. Physically, I don't just mean you spent it. You don't know what you did. This is something that has been surprising you. Please, there is a woman, an elderly woman too, who is supposed to be here. I'm seeing it. The Lord is showing me. Please, please, let's hurry up. I don't know why you are surprised that your money is missing when the Bible calls Satan a thief. See, it's not about stealing. Do demons eat money? No, no. It's a language in the spirit. It's a symbol of oppression. Why will God mention a case like this? If not that God is leading you in your meeting, will you mention a, a case that doesn't make sense like this? The Lord will set you free. Hallelujah. These are activities of the devourer. Mama, you're welcome here. Jesus Christ will visit you. Thank you, sir. You believe that? Yes. Jesus Christ will visit you. Amen. Huh? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Visit Mama even right now. Look, brothers and sisters, don't let any man confuse you. Wickedness is real. Are you getting my point? Wickedness is very real. Because, look at me. Where is your mother? They're in my place. Where is your place? Cameroon. Do you know why I called you? Do, do I know you are from Cameroon? Do you know why I'm talking to you? Because I saw light left this mama and came to you. Hold on, don't cry. What is wrong? Wait, hold on. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with your mother? They went to hospital. She's still suffering with the hand. I was praying and I wanted to move to the line, but I saw light and the Lord said, uh-uh, address this lady's situation right now. Your mother, it has not been treated till now. They went to hospital, but it's still there. It's still there. Because, you see, I'm seeing a signboard with obituary, and this thing would have happened since last year. Is this year? I'm seeing since last year. A sign of obituary, your mother. But we lost our sister too, our elder sister. Hold on now. It's the spirit of death. Hallelujah. We are going to rebuke it because this is what I'm seeing on you too. Look at me. That's why you dream. Dead people. Dead people. <laughs> dead people. You see dead people in your dream. They come to you. Sometimes they're trying to give you something to eat. Yes. Is that true? You, the Lord will deliver you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Go! That wicked spirit. What does the living have to do with dead people? Hallelujah. I need to pray for some people now with this kind of situation. Hold on. Uh, the Lord is ministering to me. There are at least five people. I want you to come and stand here quickly. You see dead people in your dream. Sometimes they try to force food on you. Please, hold up. The Lord is showing me. Let's just handle this once and for all. If you are still thinking about it, go back to your seat. Dead people, they come to you in your dream and they give you food. This is, this is the Lord. Please, separate the lines. Just stand here. It's a miracle service who will minister to you. Please make sure you don't go anywhere. I'm still going to prophesy. While we are doing that, did you bring your prayer request? Lift up your prayer request. If you didn't write it, you will be cheated. Please, in one or two minutes, any other person who has not written his prayer request, or I'm giving you two minutes. Send a text to your loved ones. Tell them forward your request quickly. We are going to collect it right now. The Lord gave me an instruction. Usually when we pray for the prayer requests, we'll just go and burn it. But the Lord said I should pack everything and I'm going to be praying from this night till tomorrow morning on it. That's the instruction the Lord gave me. Let me see the devil that will stop your prayers from being answered. 
Hallelujah. Now, be healed. Please, just write it. If you have not written it, we are giving you one minute. Those online, I hope media has a way of reaching them. Please, you can send a text to your loved ones right now. Tell them, send me your prayer request and you can add it to your paper. We don't read anybody's prayer request. We just pray on it. So if you think you wrote something and there are still some other things you should write, please write it. Please. I have my own prayer request. It's an instruction God gave us. We are not, please, if they need papers, can somebody help them? Okay. The ushers have papers. If you need papers, just wave your hands and the ushers will locate you. Thank you, sir. Let me just finish praying for these people. Be healed, right? Thank you, Jesus. That delay leaves your family now in the name of Jesus. Go! Out! Now! Out! Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out. You too. You are following me like an usher. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, you can go back to your seat if I've attempted to you. Let's just decongest this place. Hold my hands. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, I, need to, I need to really pray for you. This thing I'm seeing is not good. We need to pray. Because I'm seeing a ring. I'm seeing five rings on your hands. This is what I'm seeing. This is a spell. It must leave you now. It will not affect your home. It will not affect your life. It will not affect your home. We break it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing fire burning you. Something is living. It's like an altar on fire. Shake up. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shake up. I see an altar. And this is like a village. The Lord is showing me. I'm seeing like a village. I'm seeing the horn of a cow inside a shrine. Let it be on fire now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release you breakthrough, supernatural, inexplainable breakthrough because this thing tied the finance of her and her husband. I command its release now in the name of Jesus Christ. Instrumentalist, you are resting. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to deal, see, Immediately I finish with this. We are going to deal with marital issues. Marriage. Delay. This delay in marriage. We are going to handle it right now. Sister, look at me. You. See, you. Where you are. God is going to visit your family. God is going to visit you. Do you come? Come. This is one of your major requests. Come, run and come here. Come. Is it true? Is it true? What, what is it? Why are you, what is true? My sister, my elder Your elder sister yes, is not married. Yes, Every is just disappointment yes, here and there. Sir. And it's one of your major requests. Even as you were standing there, yes, you were telling God to visit you. To let you know God knows you. You will receive your own right now. Hold my hands. Thank you, Jesus. Let it be for her sister. Now, that cause of marital delay, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. God is doing a major work. Major work in her. Major work. Major work. Kabada Pretekadeba. Every altar of darkness. Please, if I pray for you, just look to me. Go! Look at me, my dear. This is demonic. Don't put yourself in any sort of God in the name of friends. Eh? 
Don't let them do all kinds of things. Who made this mark on your body? Look at me. You're a very great lady. You are going to be very wealthy. Very, very wealthy. Don't forget about the body of Christ. Huh? You are an usher. You are acting as an usher. Come. Let me finish with you first before you continue. Come, hold my hand. She's serving in that. So, go. You are in the name of Jesus. You are leaving her now. Go. your hands together please those of you here what what do living people have to do with dead people many of these things you are seeing is not just about you are you getting my point I'm going to pray for you lift your hands lift it up Let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now I'm going to pray for you and I'm going to release you. Many of you will be surprised. It will leave you. Father, every demonic thing that has to do with dead people that has brought your people in bondage right now in the name of Jesus I'm asking by the power of the Holy Spirit, at the count of three, let that power break out of your life. My God, the fire of God is strong. One, two, three, come now. Let the power of God set you free now, 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 now. Everything with dead people, I separate you now. In the name of Jesus, it is done. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift up your prayer requests. Oh, you dropped it. Okay, please bring them outside here quickly. While. Now listen. Supernatural marriages. There are some of you, every relationship you enter, something must happen and it will scatter. But first and foremost, please, before marriage people, if you are in business, yeah, come out. I don't mean if you want to do business, please. If you are in business, come out. If you come out here and we don't see you doing anything, don't come and lie here before God, please. You have started, you have started. Understand what I'm saying, please. Don't just be emotional. You are doing business that we can see everybody knows ah. it's time for your business to rise don't sit back this is why we are putting this program strings please Brothers and sisters, it's part of our mandate to prophesy and release prosperity upon people. And I want you to believe it. 
Hallelujah. That an anointing will come upon you. And that you will run with the spirit of Elijah. Many of you will be surprised at what will happen from this night. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Those who stand in Every mountain has giants. The bigger the giants, the greater the mountain. Until you conquer the giants that are in every business mountain, you will not prevail. Let me tell you, you can try and do all you know to do. But when those giants are conquered, it will be a landslide victory. And this is what I want to help you do. Lift your hands. For the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. you need creativity many of you need favor some of you just need access please lift your hands no man brings himself out of a hole you need another person to help you hallelujah I tell you financial mantles will fall upon some of you here but first we need to kick out some giants from the mountain hallelujah lift your hands at the count of three those of you here, I just want you to shout just one word. Jesus, very loud. You will be surprised that there are some forces tying down your shops and your businesses. It will go and I will release grace. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? My God, I feel the power of God. Help me with the silver. At the count of three. One, two, three. Let him go. Now. Let him go. Release his business. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Wicked men want to destroy this guy's business. I'm seeing people sitting down. And discussing. Let him go. It's a popular business. This woman. Social center. I'm seeing social center. So you do hair. I be hair. You are is it plaiting hair? Is it true? The fire of God is coming on your hand now. Take it now. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing somebody. You do dry cleaning. Dry cleaning. You wash and iron clothes, but this thing has not been working. Dry cleaning. You are not the only one. Dry cleaning. Dry cleaning. Hold your hands together. Sharp akata balada. Lift it up. Shende bada kata la kapa teke teke pa rakata kata pa kate kake pa kata rante pre kate kepa every power holding down this dry cleaning business in the name of Jesus go 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 in the name of Jesus Hallelujah now in the name of Jesus I send a prophetic word to your business. I command dry bones, leave. Dry bones, leave. Dry bones, leave. Those who are looking for shops, we give you shops here. 
I don't care whether they shop or not. We give it to you now. Wherever you wanted to put your business and they said they will not give you a place, go back and get your place. Those who need capital, may God by favor locate you this night. Even your enemies may they bless you. Hallelujah. Many of you need customers. I don't care whether school is on session or not on session. It's irrelevant. From the north to the south to the east all over Zaria and beyond. I call for those who should patronize you in the name of Jesus. Whoever has spoiled your name so that men don't want to patronize you I change that testimony now. I change that testimony now. Hallelujah. Oga John, photographers, two of you come. You cannot be serving in Koinonia and be like the rest. Hold your hands. Oga John, look at me. Do you believe in what I'm saying? You believe in what I'm saying? You will be surprised. Lift your hands, both of you. Father, for the sake of your house, for the sake of your house, I hold your business. Step into a new dimension by the power of the Holy Ghost on common access in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. On common access, take them to places they would never imagine. Give them opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Hallelujah. Go and succeed. Go and prosper. Now look at Let me tell you one big secret. Many of you, what you is greed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Greed. Greed. Some of you don't even tithe in your business. If you are not faithful in tithing, the devil will eat you up no matter how many days you pray and fast. Are you getting what I'm saying? Your personal tithe is the, as a ministry we tithe. That's why no devil can touch anything here. Are you getting my point? Be faithful in tithing. Deal in integrity. I bless your business. You are blessed in the city and you are blessed in the country. Where men have deserted you so that no man passes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Let your gates be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. I command the forces of the spirit to align themselves and begin to walk in your favor. I command the earth to speak for your favor. In the name of Jesus, go and return with your testimonies. Everybody rise up as we pray on the request. Be your blessing and honor and glory and power. Please, if you have not submitted your request, do it quickly. Please don't burn them after after the prayers. Please pack them, put them in a bag, take them to my house. You will hear unusual testimonies. Unusual testimonies. Hallelujah. In one minute, stretch your hands here and begin to pray radically in tongues and say, Lord, now is the time. Please, outside, stretch your hands towards the screen. Scriptures talk about a blessed mess that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says that his delight is in the law of God. And though he meditates day and night, it says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, but he bears fruit in every season. As you are by listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man to lighten by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to be. And we know that your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever be We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as the like us. Hit the 
that's that notification bell to receive more updates from us. Because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that ties you to the team. Thank you. testimonies this spiritual technology unto the God that answers prayer shall all flesh come. my God I pray from now let testimonies erupt solve impossible situations change impossible situations I stand under this apostolic unction in the name that is above all names. Let there be the signs of an apostle. I command, I invoke the heavens. Let there be a shifting. Let there be a movement. Let there be a release of miracles, financial miracles, marital miracles, health miracles. Show miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Finally, before I prophesy, Hallelujah. You know that there seems to be a yoke. Please don't be emotional of marital delay in your family even if it has not affected you come out and stand here quickly if we are too many just stand just stand on the lines please take this seriously 40 years no marriage 45 years no marriage or ladies no marriage or men in your family they marry and die Let's get that devil out of your life right now. Marriage is the will of God. Marriage on time is the will of God. See, brothers and sisters, if you're doubting whether this will happen, go back to your seat. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. I told you nothing just happens. Nothing. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you here. We need to end this. Many of you just came and met battles you don't know anything about. Yet you are suffering it still. I don't care how old you are. We must open that marital door and not just one anyhow man because your age is already advanced they say let's just manage no no you're going to marry listen sisters don't marry a irresponsible man in the name of just trying to manage time and our brothers don't just jump and marry any jezebel that will kill your life and destiny hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you we need to break this thing because many families are suffering this thing and for those who have gotten married, you see that there is no child. And by extension, even praying for barren people right now. Lift your hands. Father, in this November miracle service, I'm praying right now. Many of you will be surprised. The spell of marital delay. Instrumentalists, are you ready? Look at me. 
what I'm seeing is rain in the spirit when I count three I want you to shout Jesus that rain will drop because there are many of you I'm already seeing rings spiritual rings, covenants this is what is stopping you please shout it with all your heart my God as they shout this rain fall listen listen there will be a divorce here many of you I'm seeing rings on your hands as you're standing meaning you are already married to demonic entities this is the divorce we are going to cancel this thing now whether you believe it or not is irrelevant I'm telling you what I'm seeing lift your hands father I pray by this power as they count Lord I pray that any spiritual marriage that is not of God that is dying physical marriages it will catch fire now at the count of three get set one two three shake it, shake it, shake it. now spiritual marriages break 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 now every spirit every spirit every spirit every spirit let them go release their marital destiny every covenant marital covenant entered in on your behalf it catches fire now command a divorce a divorce now a divorce now a divorce now this is what is responsible for the delay of many of you pretty lady no husband fetch your sister no husband handsome responsible brother no wife people say it's how nigeria is there's nothing like that oh there's nothing like it's how nigeria is i prophesy to you for many of you especially for those of you who are of marriageable age by this time next year return with your supernatural marriages i change what needs to be changed we shift what needs to be shifted hallelujah sisters hear me wherever your husband is i don't care where he is if alive i bring him into your life brothers in the name of jesus christ i prophesy the struggle is over now the struggle is over you are not a liability to any sister you are a blessing therefore the sister that will agree for you and mean it from her heart i bring her into your life <laughs> hallelujah and for any of you that have seen traces of barrenness in your family they get married but they can't deliver normally except through cs i change that report now in the name of jesus i change that report now i change it now i change it now please return to your seat quickly return to your seat quickly everybody rise let me just speak the last prophetic word and then we'll wrap up we're out of time just leave them if, if they cannot stand up just leave them there please quickly quickly everybody stand up in honor of the lord lift up your hands strings my boy stay students stand up this gentleman have been here all the way hold your hands together lift it up and look at me they came for it all the way from a boy and god from from Kogi, oh the Kogi guys, you will catch fire. Take it to your campus. Set every devil in Kogi. Drive them out. Hallelujah. Lift your hands.
Look at me. You will receive an anointing. You will receive a mantle. Elijah said, if you can see me as I'm taking up. Father, in the name of Jesus, let something mighty fall upon these ones. Grace for signs and wonders. Grace for uncommon revelation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are the airborne students who are going back? Quickly, come out, please. Save our time. Airborne students that came on IT in Zaria, appreciate them as they come. Come and line up quickly. It's time to catch the fire and take it to a boy state. All of you, hold your hands quickly. You didn't just come for IT. You came for a spiritual IT. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. You will go back with fire. Zekata. At the count of three, the power of God will fall on you. Right now, get ready. One, two. Take it now. 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 Go and burn. Go and burn. Set your campuses on fire. In the name of Jesus, heal the sick, cast out devils. Mike, right? Mike, allow where is he come? come. Hallelujah. I, I said I was going to pray for him. Hallelujah. I heard that he just signed a check to pay off for this venue. Hallelujah. I'm told. Come. You cannot give into the kingdom and remain ordinary. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. So shall thy bands be filled with plenty and thy vats to overflow. Let a financial mantle come, O God. According to Proverbs, he said, For the sake of thy house, I desire thy prosperity. I lay my hands upon you. Step into a new level of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord honor you. I give your seed a voice. Go round the earth, gather your kind, and return back to him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Everybody, please lift your hands. I always tell you that this is the part that I love most. I know we are late, but it's better for your destiny to change. You must return next month with your testimony. Please lift your hands. Many of you don't know the power of prophetic statements. Where's the guy from University of Joss? University of Joss. University of Joss. Where's University of Joss again? Come quickly, please. Save our time. You will catch that fire and take it to your campus. Drive every devil out. Yes, Lord Jesus. For you will do mighty things. Lift your hands, both of you. Lord, we wait on you for fire. Take them to another level, oh God. Take them to another dimension. Fill them with uncommon power. Let their limitations melt. Lord, as these hands come, let an anointing come upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. All right, foot me now, quickly. Foot me now. Foot me now. Please come out. Lift your hands, both of you. Hurry up quickly.
Hold your hands together, lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, may they step into amazing levels of the anointing. Take the anointing to your campuses. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you. Lift your hands. Every closed door. Every door that has been closed over your life and your family. I command right now. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Everything called failure in your life. Failure. It will become a forgotten testimony in the name of Jesus. That spirit that causes delay, it works for others until it is your turn. Right now in the name of Jesus. Shake it, take a I command acceleration. You will run like Elijah. You will run like Elijah. All those trusting God for jobs. By 28th December, the next miracle service. I don't know how God did it. Lord, shake end to end of every office and give your people jobs. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease afflicting you or any member of your family right now, I command that disease on your mark, set, go. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything the devil has stolen in your family joy, peace, progress. Please believe what I'm about to speak into your life. Everything the devil has stolen, I prophesy right now. Receive sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Hallelujah. I command the favor that distinguishes a man. The favor that separates you from others. In the name of Jesus, let that mantle of favor, let it come upon you now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Every spirit of death that says you will not see December, lift your hands. This is very important. The way people are dying like chickens. Every spirit of death, I put a mark of the blood and I command it to pass by your family. Pass by your family. Pass over. Pass over. Hallelujah. All those trusting God for admission, you have it finally. I said you have it finally. I don't care who is the rector or who is the visit. That's none of my business. We legislate in this place. Receive your admission. And anyone here that any lecturer is saying you will not graduate, they will sign your paper as you graduate. Hallelujah. Finally, I pray for your finance. We are a blessed people and I pray for you. Right now, whatever makes you not to tithe, whatever makes you not to give and obey the laws that bring increase, whatever makes you feel God is cheating you, I curse you away from that deception. Receive the giving grace. Receive the giving grace. Receive the giving grace. And I pray, whatever is holding your finance, 
and that of your family. I command you to release it now. In the name of Jesus. If you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ, please keep standing. I know we are late. Just give me two minutes and we're out of here. You've never made, please bring the announcement. You've never made a decision for Jesus. Everybody keep standing, please. No moving up and down, please. Inside and outside. This is a very important announcement now. You've never made a decision for Jesus Christ. Please look at me. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There are some of you who have made a decision for Jesus, but you have found yourself derailing, you backslidden, and you need to return to the Lord. As I count, I will just count one to four because of time. I know there are people outside, there are people inside, we want to welcome you. Don't be ashamed, run to Jesus Christ right now. The Lord bless you as you come. One, please leave your seat and come. Quickly, quickly. Two, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, please. Inside and outside. Hallelujah. Run to Jesus Christ. It's time to make everything new. He died for your sins. Three, please quickly, quickly. Don't just stroll around, run. Run as though they are calling you to give you a gift. Run as though they are calling you to give you a gift. Because it's a gift, the free gift. Hallelujah. Finally, four. Hallelujah. You can still join us. God bless you. Thank you. Lift your hands, those of you here. Thank you for coming. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. Hallelujah. From today, I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm a child of God. I'm born again in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, live my life. The power of sin over my life is broken. I'm a child of God. Let her go. You are hearing her confession and you are still remaining. Let her go. I'm born again in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for making this decision. We love you. We appreciate you. We celebrate you. I'd like you to follow. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.